Bye. <laughs> Wild, but it's sure fun to watch. We love what we do. We're drinking every brew. Man, we talk some shit, but we're telling the truth. Yeah, we're the Scotchy Baron boys. Raising us in hell and making some noise. Yeah, we're the Scotchy Baron boys. We're here to have fun and we hope you enjoy. We're here to have fun. We are back with another rapid tasting. I'm Tiny. I'm Whiskey. And this is Whiskey and Tiny's rapid tasting of Molly Brown Single Barrel Select. <laughs> and we've got two, if I'm not mistaken. Two. One and two. First time ever on the rapid tasting. Uh, this is Alan Bishop, head alchemist at Spirits of French Lick. Be on the lookout for a brand new bottled and bond Solomon Scott rye whiskey. Made from a mash composed of 65% rye, 35% corn, and 5% victory malt, this five-year-old 100-proof rye whiskey is a throwback to early 1800s-style rye whiskeys of the Ohio Valley. Named after the legendary Daisy Spring Mill distillery owner turned moonshiner Solomon Scott of Paoli, Indiana. Remember, drink responsibly and never drink and drive. Uh, we're about to get to thank you, Kenny Fuller, for that great theme song. Uh, he's of the Luca Mariano... Old Americana Band, uh, we are going to get down to it. But remember, www.scotchybourbonboys.com for all Scotchy Bourbon Boys things, like the Scotchy Bourbon Boy Glen Karen. We got t-shirts and other things, all the information. but And then all of the podcast formats and everything like that. But if you like what you see tonight, you can check us out on, on Facebook and YouTube. YouTube. We're all over it. And uh, listen on Major. You can get more in-depth. Than this, this is our rapid tasting, and let's get going on this. I'll start to pour. You so start why talking. Why don't we start with this one? Why don't we start? And this is and uh, Justin. What's Justin? Up? What, Absolutely. What's so, his, yeah. You so go ahead. Justin, the master distiller out of Molly Brown uh, in Addison, and we actually shot some footage there of the, of the still. Some very interesting fun facts will be coming out in that. You'll be looking for a tiny to put that up uh, in the coming weeks, um, as well as. Uh, Justin actually, uh, wow, Justin, we drank way too much that day. So, um, uh, but yeah, Justin Lee, the uh, master distiller there, uh, was nice enough to uh, provide us uh, with some samples to bring back. So we're going to start out with uh, these are their limited, um, these are their limited edition bottles that they do. Uh, typically, all of these are single barrel products, um, and so. Uh, out of every batch, they might put a couple of back, um, or and, and then when they find a special barrel, or they want a barrel that's going to maybe age a little bit longer. Um, but uh, we're going to start with actually batch five. This is batch four and batch five. The reason we're going to start with batch five is it's a little bit lower proof. But this is their single barrel select, uh, and this one is finished in Madeira casks. Okay. So and Molly Molly Brown is located in Colorado. So everybody watching on Facebook Live tonight, uh, while we're doing these, we have a Colorado theme going for a little bit. We do, we do, because so, uh, just back from back from Colorado. Colorado. Yeah, so absolutely. yeah. So so uh, Molly Brown is uh, just north of Denver. A uh, beautiful tasting room. They kind of tried to keep that whole Roaring Twenties theme going on, and it's freaking huge, but. Uh, if you ever want to try some interesting cocktails, they also have some house-made cocktails that are... Well, and Justin was on the podcast 
just a, a couple months ago. And if you want to see the tasting room, I believe he was doing the podcast from the, the bar tasting room. If I'm he not might, he might sitting right there and uh, you can find everything out about Molly Brown from that. If you check out our YouTube and our uh, podcast of that. But this is a newer product. This is something that they're releasing at the distillery. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got to go there. Online. Right. And you can it, pick it, it up online. Stay. Right. And uh, it's actually, so far, the best nose by far. It's just very lemony. But uh, we're, we're tasting in the Scotchy Bourbon Boy Glen Karen. So make sure you check us out uh, at, mm -hmm. at the website. Pick up your Scotchy Bourbon Boy Glen Karen. Glen Karens are the preferred glass of the Scotchy Bourbon Boys. They also help bring that aroma for the nose together, bring it to a point. Yep, really, it, that uh, tear glass shape right there brings the brings all those flavors. There's different flavors on the, the bottom. Yeah, and I, I do get a little bit of citrus. I'm getting lemon like you wouldn't believe. Oh. A little bit of underlying rye spice. Oh, I'm not picking that up, though. All right. Oh, a little chocolate. I just pulled in a little bit of chocolate. So I was wondering. I'm not going to say anything because... Justin and I uh, did tasting notes on this one. We were out there. and uh, Wow. It was so lemony. And all of a sudden, right there. And I will say this. Both of these products, the longer they sit, the more this nose opens up. And it now, is this is thin. more, this is not as thin on the, on the outside. What's the proof again, did you say of this? Um, it's, it seems to be so, hot. So uh, and it's really doing what it should do in the glass. So, so Justin, nice Justin helped us really out by giving us the smeared bottles. Ah. So thank you, Justin. I can't read the proof, but uh, I, 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 if it's you watch a single the, barrel select, it's probably higher proof than what it not. is. It's going to be higher proof than what they typically bottle. And this right. is uh, and interestingly enough, they'll tell you exactly what bottle number you are on the neck. I think this is bottle number one eighty eight. The other one's one forty nine. All right, let's give her a taste. How uh, you know the age on that? Uh, I think it is uh, three years. Okay. Surprise. Thirty six. Yeah, you don't. You get a nice richness out of it. There's a That's there's a, a nice combination of the barrel to the the distillate. It doesn't taste young. It doesn't. I mean, it does such nice things in the glass. But it's also, I'm like touching where it is on the glass, and it's sticky. Almost it's like a, a caramel sauce. So do you get the dark chocolate? I get, I get the chocolate. I get um, the There's toast. So There's a to this is almost like a toasted barrel. It tastes like a toasted bourbon. It's... All right. So our rating system here at the Whiskey and Tiny... Rapid tasting is 25 for nose, 25 for taste, 25 for body, and 25 for finish. Let's get on with it. Uh, because we got to do two. And, then we're getting... and we are going to do two. So the nose yeah. on the nose is the best nose so far out of everything we've done. Uh, it's People who are watching this first don't know that we did a bunch of stuff, but I'm going to rate this nose. This nose hits a 21. Really? I like the nose. I, the chocolate and the lemon thing. I just really, I like that nose. I'm going to give it 21. I'm, I'm going to give this a, uh, I'm going to give this nose an 18. Okay. It's, uh, as you know, I'm not a giant finished bourbon guy. I'm more of a purist. And yeah, so, the, the cask flavor that it gives is really kind of delicious. It see, and I knew you would love that. As soon as I tried this, I went, oh, Tiny is going to get a, a chug for this. Yeah. So, um, Sweet. It still has the honey sweetness to start, but then it's lemony. And then when you get it, you pick up those notes of chocolate. Oh, so much uh, chocolate. And, and that's like on the finish. So, all right. So, uh, like I said, you gave it 18, 20. Uh, uh, the body, fantastic again. I, I think get, this. I get more mouthfeel. Of course. It's throughout the it's whole mouth experience. So, I'm going to give the, I'll give the body a 19. I'm going to give this body a 20. Because. Okay. I'm feeling it out in the outside of my gums, and I mean it's a full mouthfeel for me. Um, and Good body. So it's it's really yeah. It, it, you you said it before. It's almost sticky. I mean it's got that full mouthfeel. Okay, and then the next uh, taste. I'm gonna I enjoy this. 
I think the taste is right around a 20 also. And for me, I don't love finished bourbons as much as you do, uh, but I actually enjoy this. Uh, I don't particularly like chocolate in my bourbon, but I don't mind this because it kind of almost reminds me of a European dark chocolate. Um, I think I think I'll give this an 18. Okay. And then the last but not least, the finish. I think the finish is long. Yep. Uh, you pick a little bit like it goes with the chocolate with the finish. And then at the end, the lemon is left in your mouth. And so I'm going to give this finish a 22. Really? Uh, this finish is probably, I always find finishes are very important because it's what's left in your mouth after you're done drinking whiskey. And right now, what's there is pretty, uh, I'm, I'm enjoying that. It's almost like I, I sucked a lemon drop. And it, it, the, the, I sucked a lemon drop, right? Yeah. And it's like it's gone, but I know I I, had, I I was had the lemon drop. And 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 for me, I think um, I'll give this finish. Um, it probably deserves a twenty um, in my book. I mean, so it's, I'm eighty one. I am um, seventy five. Yep. I, I so, hope we're doing math. All right. So let's so, get let's quickly get on to the next. So batch four. Is a true single barrel. It's not finished. Um, this is also cast strength. Um, so it went in the barrel and it came out of the barrel. Um, coincidentally, that's the rain. Is it the rain or is it the siren? No, it's the rain. Not like Andy Lennox, like you're from. So the what did it do? So uh, this is uh, their cast strength. They didn't dilute it at all. Game, uh, this is, uh, this was oh, a look at what it did in the glass. I know, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I will tell you of the Molly Brown, which I tasted everything they had when I was out there. Oh, uh, I'm because gonna... I really like this line. Uh, this was hands down my favorite. Um, but uh, this was Justin going through and trying barrels. Um, and they found this barrel and thought it was special. And so they set here. it aside. Um, Wait. Anyone? I'm gonna add, dude. Three times four is twelve. I'm gonna add to each one of my scores three, and this is a ninety-three. That's this, right. This this nose this is is amazing to me. This is everything I love about smelling up. Fresh, hot bowl of oatmeal. So that everything that I tasted, all the tastes are, are amped except the lemon. Obviously, the Maduro, the lemon's coming from the finish. Right. I didn't. I. I, I didn't know. But there's so much brown sugar. On no. This no. Else. Know what this is? This is dark fruits like, um, chi dark cherry, um, prune. Uh, dark cherry, those rich flavors are in there. And then it's got a little bit, still has the chocolate, you know. I need just a little bit more. A little bit. Mm -mm. Oh, you're good. We got to make it. Oh, well, we will make it. You might make it. I have to make it. All right. Yeah, deep, deep brown. So what do you get that? The nose, uh, the what nose, are you going to add? I'm going to give the nose a 24. I love this nose. This is, this is, this is just brown sugar wonderful. Now you're at 81. I already, I already gave it a 94. No, a 93. Because 12 plus 81 is 93. I think uh, for me, the mouth, the mouth feel, the, the. It's 20. I, it's not as high for me. What do you mean? It's just so I mean, much it, more than what that was. It is. But, but I, I, I love this nose so much. And then. You know, you go for the body, and for me, it's it's just a little bit weaker. So I, I, I'm going to give the body a twenty. Okay, so we're at um, forty-four. The palate to me um, is maybe it's complex. It's got uh, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of leather. It's got it's got that kind of that deep. Almost like a burnt caramel, but then the finish. So I'm going to give the uh, I'm going to give the palate a 22. I'm going to give the finish a 20. 88. So 88. There you go. There you go. 
All right. Batch four is a winner, people. Uh, I know there weren't a lot of bottles left when I was there. So thank you again, Justin, um, for uh, letting us have a sample to bring back to the podcast. Uh, but I do know some of these bottles are still available online if you're in a state they ship to. Um, so you can go to uh, Molly Brown on Google, Molly Brown Distillery in Denver, Colorado, and you can check out their products. Have them shipped direct, direct to your house. They also have a great marketing person. Their 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 uh, their merch is is pretty pretty phenomenal. So very cool. They even have the uh, Hawaiian shirts that are bourbon, but not in big boy sizes because I look. <laughs> <laughs> Some of those distilleries run out of those big boy sizes, that's for sure. I was so pleasantly uh, pleased when last time I was at Buffalo Trace, they didn't run out. They had no. all of those three X's. So, I'm whiskey. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tiny. I'm whiskey. <laughs> and we are the Scotchy <laughs> Bourbon Boys. Uh, make sure you check us out on all the podcast formats. Also, uh, on all the... Uh, Social media formats, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and X. And yeah, then all follow us on Facebook. Yeah. Watch us on YouTube. And you, uh, if you like what you've seen, uh, if you follow us, uh, our podcast, you check it out on all those formats. And then also on YouTube because there's so much more information. But this is Whiskey and Tiny's Rapid Tasting of Molly Brown Single Barrels. Uh, and shout out to Spirits French Lick that helped to make this podcast possible. And a shout out to you, Super Nash, who just joined us on Facebook. So thank you, Martin. Um, but yeah, try it, man. Pick these things up and look for Justin Lee to be joining us uh, in the next month or two uh, for a longer version of this tasting. So All right. Till next time. Oh, show me the way to the next whiskey bar. Oh, don't ask why. Oh, don't ask why. Show me the way to the next whiskey bar. Oh, don't ask why. Oh, don't ask why. For if we don't find the next whiskey bar. I tell you we must die. I tell you we must die. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you we must die. Hey, Scotchy Bourbon Boys fans, this is Alan Bishop, Indiana's Alchemist of the Black Forest. So I'm tuning in here today to tell you all about the One Piece of the Time Distilling Institute channel on YouTube. If you're at all interested in the art of distilling, whether it be home distilling or professional distilling, and the intense geekery that goes into that process, then check out the One Piece at a Time Distilling Institute on YouTube. I promise you're going to learn something you didn't know before about the arts.